In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins and so for us to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, life of the faithful, glory of the humble, blessedness of the just, listen kindly to the prayers of those who call on you, that they may, who thirst for what you generously promise may always have their fill of their plenty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The word of God continued to spread and grow. After Barnabas and Saul completed their relief mission, they returned to Jerusalem, taking with them John, who was called Mark. Now there were in the church of Antioch prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius, Lucius and Cyrene, Manon, who was a good friend of Herod, the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul, for the work to which I have called them. Then, completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hands on them and sent them off. So they sent forth by the Spirit, went down to Secular, and where from there sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived in Salmis, they proclaimed the word of God in the Jewish synagogues. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O God, let all the nations praise you. O God, let all the nations praise you. My God, have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth, among all nations, your salvation. O God, let all the nations praise you. May the nations be glad and exult, because you rule the peoples in equity. The nations on earth you guide. O God, let all the nations praise you. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us, and may all the ends of the earth fear you. O God, let all the nations praise you. Alleluia! Alleluia! Jesus revealed that love and mercy. 
mercy to all of us in his words and his actions, and ultimately to the gift of his own death and resurrection. And he does become that light, the light in which we follow Christ each day, knowing that in following Christ we don't stumble and fall, but the light of Christ continues to dwell in our hearts. May we pray that we look to the light of Christ to guide us each day, knowing to follow him is to follow the Lord and all that he has given to us. We offer our needs to the Father who, who, he, who hears us. For the church, may God bring unity where it is needed and build bridges where there is division. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all elected leaders and their advisors, may the wisdom and peace of Christ inspire them in legislating and leading their lives justly. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick in mind and body or in spirit, may Christ the healer touch them through the hands and presence of, friendly, of friends today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this local faith community, may God grant courage for its members to proclaim the word of God with love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, marked with the sign of faith. May they be welcomed into eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those petitions which we hold deep within our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, you sent us the words of eternal life in your Son. Hear our prayers. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessing, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the divine and work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may be accepted by you, Lord, and may our sacrifice be pleasing to you, O Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me of my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time of the hall, to lodge you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he destroyed our death, by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You're indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts 
pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. And bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Nelson our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, Informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously bend her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Have a nice day.